Scorpio, this is your reading and I'm Shah from uh, Charlie's Angel Tarot, as you can see. Um, and this is your love, re love vlog for May 2020. And I hope you're safe and well. And uh, I'm sorry it's taken a bit longer than expected, but everything is in delay, even my new decks. But, thank goodness, the economy is still running, thanks to uh, not only the nurses and the hospital staff, but also because of the postmen, the packages uh, men and uh, uh, firms working with uh, downscaled employees. So thank you, thank you, thank you. My gratitude to everybody. And if you are somebody that is working, then stay safe, be safe, and you're in my prayers and healings. All of you are anyway. Just set the intention to receive the healing and the prayers. Okay, uh, if you would like to have an extended reading, then if there's more information below this, informa uh, in this video in the description box. And if you can't pay um, Super Chat, then you're always welcome to do a donation through PayPal uh, outside the live sessions because I've noticed that some people cannot pay in live sessions and I will take it with me in the next live session. Or if you leave your uh, email behind, then uh, I will uh, or send me an email as well besides it and say that you've done a payment, I can check it give me your question and I'll give you your three cards and an oracle card. If you would like an extended reading then go to my website and there you've got different types of readings and there's one reading that is an extensive reading and if you come back within the six months of that reading then you can do a reduced reading uh, for 20 minutes I believe. Um, don't shoot the messenger <laughs> it's only me. <laughs> okay anyway and you can go to the website just uh, up here you see a white dot and just click on that and it will take you through to the website or follow the information underneath this video uh, the readings have been really great uh, if, even if I say so myself but the best one up till now is Libra it just took on a life of its own. So go and have a look. It might appeal to you too because it's it became a general reading, romance reading, funny enough. But this is your first card for the first week. True love. True love. Whether you, whether you're hooked up or not. Whether you are hooked up, then you have found your true love and soulmate. I did go more into soulmate in the Libra. So if you would like to know my vision about soulmates, then uh, go to Libra. It also says this is the romance of a lifetime. Well, if you're married, then you have been in, the, in this romance for a long time, hopefully. And you've got found your true love. There is a, a new beginning. You've got victory. Yes, if you have met this person and you've been married for a year, yonks, then you have victory because not many people nowadays can stay together a long time. You, ki you know how to communicate. You know how to balance things. You use your wisdom and your life's knowledge and your life's experience. Um, this could also be mean that you might meet an air sign if you're not hooked up and he might be or she might be the love of your life. This is a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian. There is new beginnings, new communication, the swords also, and, or, and perhaps new knowledge. And perhaps you might be in a judicial affair if you are um, divorced then uh, there is a new beginning with somebody else. You will be uh, having victory. I'm sorry um, if you are getting divorced, but you might already have met somebody else that is an air sign and that you think they're your true love. It will become clear to you because the sword stands for clarity, honesty and justice. Uh, I, this is a romance reading, so um, if you are in a divorce, you will have victory. You thought you had your true love, but 
Perhaps you've already found somebody else, and that could be the Knight of Cups. That could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisarium. And why do I say that? If you are getting divorced, or if you are divorced, going through a divorce, it might be finalized in the first week of May. Because we have wedding. It could be your wedding, or you could be going to a wedding. This situation involves a wedding and it could be with a Knight of Cups. You will be getting news though, um, as the Knights and Pages bring news. Now, there is also uh, the big Arcana cards represent Zodiac signs, Kings, Queens and Pages, not the Knights. In third week, love yourself first. Yes, I always say that, love yourself first and nurture yourself, then you'll stay attractive and fresh and exciting. You must love yourself before you can love somebody else, because if you love yourself you know what love is. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Just remember that, you don't have to be selfish to love yourself. You don't have to beautify yourself for somebody else. Do it for yourself. That's loving yourself as well. Nurturing, we've got the cups. And again, you've got the seven of cups. The seven of cups, you've got dragonflies flying everywhere. Isn't that beautiful? And it looks like a double moon. Or a blue moon. But it's an archway. But if you look at it very quickly, it looks like a double moon. And we do have two moons every month because we are we are now into Taurus and this is the third week so you are going into Gemini. Okay, so we were talking about air signs, so air signs are prominent in your reading. We've got the the new uh, we've got the new moon, we've got the moon of Gemini coming in, so Gemini could be important. You might the seven of cups dream means dreams and goals. Perhaps you're trying to fulfill dreams or goals. Um, my uh, with regards to your love life, perhaps you um, would love to um, get married to an air sign. This could be your dream. Sorry Scorpio, I just had to pull my jumper off because uh, like in the live sessions, this is what happens as well. The energy starts flowing and then I get really, really hot. And when I'm, I'm, when I'm getting really warm, I know I'm on the right track. The same with cold. When I get icy, icy cold, then I know it, it's just the feeling that you get in certain times in certain places like your legs but the rest of your body stays warm then you know you're uh, you are on the right track when I uh, so this message is uh, very important to you imperative um, you need to love yourself a little bit more accept yourself uh, for who you are because you are unique in your own way and remember, if you don't love yourself, nobody, you won't shine like a beacon. You won't be <coughs> shining like the sun ray in somebody's life. So be your own sunshine. Uh, be somebody. Be once you realize you are a ray of sunshine, then you can be the sunshine in somebody else's life. Make a priority list. That's what I always advise with the um, the cups, the seven of cups make sure that your your dreams come true that your goals come true you must take action it won't drop in your lap okay so make a pro and cons list um, take one dream at a time and then see which dream or wish or goal would come true or would be fulfilled sooner than the other this will motivate you to stay on your track and make your bucket list up to date from time to time that's another way of looking at it. In the fourth week is keep an open mind. If you are not hooked up, then you might meet somebody that is not to your specifications or idea of your knight in shining armor. Remember, the knights don't exist anymore because the shining armor won't be isn't used. It's just a fig uh, figurative way of uh, saying your new partner could be coming in 
but is uh, different to what you think he or she might be. If you want somebody with blonde hair and blue eyes, you might fall head over heels in love with somebody with brown hair and blue eyes instead of brown hair and brown eyes. Okay, so keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. If you, <laughs> if you decided that you want an air sign or a water sign, it could be a pentacle sign. And the pentacle sign, the king of pentacles, is Taurus, but don't exclude um, Virgo or Capricorn. It could be either one of them. And they might be a businessman because you've got the king of pentacles. He knows how to invest and he does so for du with durability and for durability and long term. Everything he touches turns to gold. So um, this could be your type of person. Okay? It could be a person that works in business, that does investments, a real estate person because real I there might be somebody that is a builder and buys um, uh, properties and flips them and that is how he makes his money. He invested in uh, goods, in, in houses or businesses like uh, getting an old uh, office block and uh, buy it and flip it and into apartments. Somebody, somebody that's earthy, that works with the earth or works in the bank. Somebody that invests. Okay. And then you've got the Page of Swords. So you've got the Ace of Swords and you've got the Page of Swords. Now the page, page of Swords, like I said, Pages and Knights bring news. This is Swords, so this will be coming through Cyber or through the air. That means telephone, text messages or computer, email um, or even airmail with the old-fashioned way. Um, the page does stand for Aquarius, but like I said, don't exclude the other two, Gemini and Libra. You definitely are on the right track. Um, and I think you will be meeting somebody that you are going to invest in for a long time. If you are already hooked up, then uh, this person um, you had another person in mind uh, to get hooked up with, but um, this person is not what you expected. He's even better. Okay, now what have you got underneath the um, Page of Swords? You've got the Ace of Swords. There are new investments, new beginnings. You are investing your love and your time you're into this person. You want somebody for long term. So you are investing and what you are investing in will turn out right because the King of Pentacles has the meters touch. So that means that you will get the profit if you you will get the person that you need for long term and durability. But you must learn to communicate clearly. You've got a lot of swords Learn from the past. If you are getting divorced and you are meeting a new person, keep the communication going and clearly be honest because that's what the swords mean. Don't drag uh, the old cows out of the canal. Like, don't talk about the past. Yeah, definitely not on the first date. Um, but know your boundaries and make it clear what your boundaries are. Get to know what their boundaries are. Okay, my darlings, so that you do not repeat what has happened in the past, in the future. So communicate clearly, be honest and clear, cut straight through to the core, get to the nitty gritty, but take your time, don't be hasty, okay? Take your time, like the pentacles, to build. Take your time, like the cups, use your emotions wisely. Uh, you're no longer a, a child anymore. You are grown up. If you can handle a relationship, you are grown up. Then you know what I'm talking about and learn to love yourself. 
I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. So take care and stay safe. And I hope to see you and all meet you in the live sessions. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday for free cards and super chats and super stickers. Take care. Be blessed.